welcome, what's up, thank you for stopping by fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is yet another Clash of Clans episode brought to you by Galadon and um, I guess that's it. No sponsors today, good news, right? Yeah, okay, so today we're talking about Legend League and what are we talking about in Legend League? Oh yeah, 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 so lots of players have been getting zero stars against this base but we're going to go way beyond just that subject matter today as we talk about Legend League, both defensively, offensively, and what could, should, and will someday, I predict, be done to fix Legend League for all other players. Now, this, of course, is the opening of uh, not the most proficient attack with, uh, you know, maybe not the best army, uh, but you know what? That's what is happening right now because of where I am, and that is why I want to remind you that we're not here to make fun of players for failing attacks. In fact, today I will show you an epic fail by Galadon. You will see a 49% zero star in Legend League. So I'm just here to say that, you know, we're willing to make fun of ourselves as well as others, but when it comes down to certain things in this episode, I'm gonna be dead serious. I'm deadly serious about the fact that you should use code Galadon before you make any purchases in any Supercell game. Thank you guys that are using the new and easier to find creator code right there in the shop, that little C. When the check mark is gone, that reminds you that you need to put in G-A-L-A-D-O-N and having the knowledge that half of the money goes to charity, you should sit back, relax, and know that you are doing the right thing and you are doing a good thing. All right, so. Uh, yes, we've got Krankenstein, or is it Kronkenstein, uh, right here who has uh, failed. But while, yes, it's unfortunate for anyone to fail an attack, let's look at this on the bright side. All right, this player made it to Legend League. That is more than the vast majority of Clash of Clans players will ever be able to say. There are very few that have ever made it above 5,000 trophies, so congrats for that. And also... Let's remember, and this is where Gala gets a little harsh. It's Gala harshness. Um, Supercell is not really giving you any reason to be here, okay? Uh, yes, okay, fine, you don't lose loot. That's the extent of it. That's really the only reason anybody would ever go to Legend League. Remember, you're so limited in the number of attacks that you can conduct that if you're an avid farmer, you're not going to grab nearly as much loot as you could if you were out there attacking for hours on end or even a couple of hours a day. So, yeah, it's just a problem. Okay, oh, before I go any further, by the way, this base, which has received many, many failed attacks and even more one-star defenses, is listed along with all of my other bases from videos and many base ideas that are cool, clever, and effective for lower town halls on my Discord server at discord.gg slash Gaming. Come join the Discord server. It's also a great place to find friends, find clans, and play other Supercell and even a few non-Supercell games. But yes, so the whole idea of this video kind of turned a corner from, oh, let's show a base that's really effective at grabbing low percentage attacks, and let's talk about Legend League in general and how to win at Legend League. Because there is a way, there is an actual way to win at Legend League, and what I mean by that is succeed in what you want to do without wasting a bunch of time or effort or even gems. And the idea is, and here's the thing, okay, I'll tell you right now, if you are a player who finishes the season below the top 200 in your country, then you are wasting your time pushing for almost the entire month every single season. Don't do it. It makes no sense. Don't support Supercell's lack of creativity and ingenuity for Legend League by just wasting your time throughout the month attacking over and over and over again trying to push trophies, okay? Look at Legend League as a way to farm if that's what you're going to do. If you feel like eight attacks a day without losing loot is going to be beneficial, then go for it by all means. But then you don't need to focus on three-star attacks. Think about trying to grab most of the loot. If possible, you could even use farming troops in Legend League to do that. And remember that the loot bonus is the same for 5,000 as it is for 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, or 10,000 trophies. So really, if you want to grab some of those Legend League trophies in case something shows up in the shop in the future, then, you know, by all means, push like the last 
four days, five days, seven days of the season. Okay, look at me right here. What a great beginning to a legendly day, right? Five perfect attacks in a row, and now we will show you the Galafail. Okay, now I will tell you, so my strategy, my winning strategy in Legend League is to, throughout the month, just try to stay afloat, stay right around 5,000 trophies for the beginning of the month, and then around the last week, then I'll push harder. Okay, so, uh, yeah, um, Archer, Archer, Archer Queen died, died right there. I was not paying very close attention, probably because I, I don't know what I was doing, but so, so the Archer Queen died, and at this point, it's really all or nothing. Like for me, it's either get a three star or I don't care what happens. So I'll admit to spamming all of my troops, all of my spells. And then right at this very moment that I paused in the attack, I did um, uh, force quit Clash of Clans and turn off the, the iPad pretty much. So yeah, so it's done here. This was the point where I walked away because like I said, I mean, I'm either looking for footage where I can show off a fun three star or not. I mean, if, if I don't get a three star, then it's really not worth putting in a video. And it doesn't matter whether I got 39 trophies or one trophy because, again, I'm only trying to stay right around 5,000 trophies until the final week of the month. And the reason for doing that, for pushing that last week, is because I still have faith that someday in some way Supercell will listen to me and something will happen to those Legend League trophies that accrue on your account month after month after month. There's there's a reason they're showing up on your profile and it's more than just bragging rights for when somebody looks at your profile because that's just dumb. I mean, come on, we don't even have global chat anymore to go impress people with your big old purple badge. So just, you know, give it up. Okay, all right, so yes, I had long ago left. There it is, a beautiful 49% zero star Galadon still picks up four trophies, uh, and you'll notice the defender lost zero, so good for him. Okay, so fine. Yes, that was a mega fail, an ultimate ugliness in a Legend League, but here's the thing. I'm still right around 5,000 trophies. I'm not getting kicked out of Legend League. I'm not competitive with these 6,000 plus guys. I know, based upon my experience, that I will usually, if I push hard, finish around 5,800, and that's just not enough. So... There I am with over 18,000 Legend League trophies. Please, Clash of Clans team, do something with them. And that is why every month I try just a little bit at the end of the month. Thank you, Galafam, for watching and listening to me on the soapbox all the way to the end of this episode. You know that means you are the true hashtag Galafam. That is why I love thinking about it. I appreciate every single one of you every single day. <laughs> so, so get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind of be honest. I'll see you back again tomorrow. Thanks. Galadon, that outro was like your last tick. It was sloppy. Sloppy, man. Oops.